Welcome to the channel. Thank you to everyone for tuning in. So in today's video, we'll be looking at a release by Boltony. This is called the S206070 and it is a quartz chronograph watch. Now Boltony have released a fair share of chronograph watches, all with that vintage design and aesthetic behind it. Uh, and this one is not so new, even though it's a new release, I think they've got a lot of designs that look very similar to this. There's only one major difference with this watch, uh, which they haven't used before, and that is the movement. They've gone for a solar quartz movement. This is the Seiko 7S71 solar quartz movement in this watch. Now, as I said, with a lot of the chronographs, uh, there's a lot of similarities between them. Uh, for example, this case and these uh, pushers you'll recognize from another model the s5057 but that has a slightly different case they've also done this style of case i think multiple different times i think they did one in titanium as well with a just slightly different dial layout so as i said there's a lot of choice when it comes to chronographs from boltony let's go ahead and take you through all the small details so in terms of dimensions this is a 39 millimeter case it's got a thickness of 12.2 millimeters and a log to log of 46.7 millimeters with a log width of 20 mil. Now these dimensions on a lot of the chronographs with this size, the 39 millimeter case is really wearable. Uh, it's good for smaller wrists and slightly larger wrists. Um, thickness is it's a little thick for a quartz watch in all honesty. Generally they do wear quite well. Now in terms of specifications, standard specifications from Bolton on this one, a sapphire crystal steel case, but the watch only has 100 meters of water resistance. Possibly due to, you know, the no gasket being in the crystal. And the reason I say that is because the case is screwed down. But you've also got screw down pushers and a screw down crown. So potentially the watch could have higher water resistance, but they have rated it only at 100. And as I mentioned, the movement in this is that Seiko VS71 solar quartz movement, which gives you roughly about six months of battery life once it is fully charged. So with this watch, you do have two different colors. You've got the brand that you see in hand and you've also got a black one with a black leather strap now Boltony have provided this with this brand leather strap it's a very generic leather strap they do it on a lot of their models and i think Boltony need to kind of step away starting from being a bit generic so i like to see much better straps coming from them um you know they make all types of models some are really good and some have the right vintage inspiration behind it which makes them quite popular um but yeah i would have preferred this with a much nicer strap in all honesty but i do like the dial color now, on a personal note, I think we need to see a lot more brand dials from a lot of suppliers or watchmakers uh, because brand, you know, is a dial color that you really see. So if we just unscrew these, and I think the best feature for me, it has to be on this case, is these pushers. I love the nailing on the crowns and the pushers. Very smooth, really well made. It feels really good to kind of open and close. Uh, the crown does have a really positive click as well. It's a really good size. I think it's around over seven millimeters, which really does have that functionality. The pushers. Quite a muted push. But on the reset, you get that sweep from the solar movement. So as you can see with the two subdials at the 12 and 6, this is where your solar panels are. And in terms of complications, you've got a 60 minute timeout at the 12 and you've got a 60 second subdial at the 6. Now the subdial hands are rather thick. It makes them quite visible. Uh, the printing is very crisp and it's got in Boltony's usual refinements, usual quality here. You can see every single marker on the minute track. And you've also got that applied loom for the hour markers. And those big white numerals that you've got around the watch face are also loomed. So let's take you over to the loom shot. The loom shot on this is fairly nice. Boltony haven't really messed up on loom as of yet. I mean, it's not the best, but it is visible. And you can see they've got BGW9 on the arabics and then with the hour markers and the handset you do have c3 now you do have a small date window at the three o'clock now there's one issue with this visually it doesn't look that great and it's not just about the size but in hand let me see if i can show you this right there because the movement sits so far back you can see there's a fair bit of space so in hand that date window looks a lot further in and you do get a bit of shadow from that uh, cutout of the dial so that's not really ideal um, and it does not look nice uh, it really does it really does take away from the overall refinement of the watch and there's one other thing which does not look right to me it has to be that sword handset not only are they just a bit short but i think they're a little small as well i think this watch should have had sword hands no i'm not too fussed about the design but i think it would have benefited if it had just much larger hands which were a lot more visible because in hand, they just do look quite off on the center of the dial. Uh, I don't think they're big enough. Now, moving on to the case. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've seen this similar case on their titanium uh, chronograph. 
um, but you know in steel it does look a bit different you've got a fully circular brushed bezel the bezel itself is very smooth finished quite nicely as well and then if you take a look at the side of the case very soft and very smooth brushing nice downturn to the lugs and it's a very crisp looking watch I mean the cases are quite high end uh, I don't think I've had a bad case from Boltony as of yet but the case back is plain and uh, yeah fairly nice design so I'd say I think the case is a lot better um, I just wish they probably made it just a little bit more interesting did a few more things to the dial uh, definitely changed the handset made it much bigger um, but yeah this is the Boltony S206070 so let's put this on the wrist and let's see how it looks so as I did point out earlier this 39 millimeter case from Boltony does fit really well I've got a six and a half inch wrist and it is and the watch is very proportionate to my wrist um, this leather strap look it doesn't fit great I don't like leather straps but uh, it does need a bit of breaking in but the watch itself on the case it looks quite nice um, it's very comfortable and as I said I think with this particular model um, just something isn't right a couple of things which I mentioned visually so if you do like this chronograph style from Bolton you want that vintage chronograph then I suggest you look at a lot of the other models as well because you might get a dial which does have a, a much nicer setup and just looks a bit nicer than this and perhaps they can use this solo quartz movement in some more of the models so that's it for me today guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always and I'll see you on the next video thanks for watching